Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm uh, starting a new Patreon reaction. Now, man, it's been a long time since I've done any Patreon stuff. I think it's been like two months or more, maybe. But yeah, my uh, my channel's been in a bit of a mess. As in, it doesn't exist anymore. So I made this new one, and I've been trying to re-upload stuff while at the same time looking for a good place to upload the reactions, since YouTube is definitely not a place to put those anymore. Uh, so I'm just, I've been doing redirects now. And that takes re-editing, that takes a lot of time for uh, rendering and uh, uploading to the new experimental websites. So it's it's been really tough. So that's a big reason why I haven't been doing Patreon reactions. Uh, another being that I also don't want to fall behind on airing stuff because people tend to spoil things. And that's usually why airing stuff is like my highest priority stuff. Because with reactions, it's best not to know anything going in. Just like this one. Uh, yeah, this is a Patreon reaction that won the last poll, and I probably looked it up at some point when I downloaded it, or when I saw it was winning, or even when it was in the uh, in the poll. Um, but since it's been so long, I just have zero idea about what it's about. <laughs> I'm seeing three pairs of legs here, but that gives me nothing. I'm thinking maybe it's a slice of life comedy. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I just, <laughs> I don't know anything. So that said, there's nothing much else to say. So let's just get into it. It's got kind of like a, a sketchy design. Is this the opening? It might be the opening. If it keeps playing, I'll just fast forward through it. Yeah. Looking away. Alright, start. The designs of the characters look kind of off to me. <laughs> Those faces, though. <laughs> oh, shoot, I should not be watching this at night. <laughs> okay, I'm already liking this. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that slap, though. <laughs> yeah, after seeing that, I don't think anyone would want to play with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> she really wants to slap people. <laughs> oh my god, why would you agree to that? She's... Oh! That, uh, um... <laughs> uh... See, th that's another benefit to, uh... Not having extra there. <laughs> oh my god, this is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. How? Yeah, you do look that type, don't you? <laughs> mm, so she's been using that as an excuse for, yeah, messing with people. <laughs> this music that's playing, though, it's so, like... I, I don't know how to describe it. Carefree? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't think I could just keep laughing like this. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm already losing uh, a little bit of oxygen in my brain. Those, that style of art has always looked really weird to me. Like, it just looks so creepy. It reminds me of when Chica uh, <laughs> so I was trying to speak English from uh, Kaguya-sama. <laughs> he knows our secret. He must die. Wow, look at these faces. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fairly unique looking anime. It has a pretty unique pace as well and feel like I I haven't really seen an anime that kind of, that looks and feels like this one. <laughs> She's not noticing her taking the ham. Uh oh, she ate it. That that's just two pieces of bread now. Yep. <laughs> what? Yes, that's a bit concerning. She's very insistent. I guess Minami K is a bit like this, a little bit. Which is incidentally the uh the anime that destroyed my last channel. <laughs> She's gonna have to admit it by the end of the episode, at least. <laughs> Intense. Wow. <laughs> oh <laughs> uh. She's dead. <laughs> this is the kind of show that by the end of the episode, I have like, I have a, I'm gonna have like, sore cheek muscles. <laughs> Bullet noises as well. 
<laughs> Which is just going to BS it? <laughs> hey. <laughs> also basse. I guess that's how you say it. Asobi asobase. <sighs> they do tend to overuse those funny faces. I feel like I might start getting immune to them later on. Just like uh just like they did in in Grand Blue. I feel this is based like in, on a four coma manga or something where there's a whole bunch of punchlines and they use those faces as a, uh, you know, emphasis on the funny. <laughs> she looks like a, uh, a kappa. Whoever's doing that, that title card, or whatever that is, reminds me of uh, whoever does the voice of the reporter in uh, Seto Kayai Kundomo. <laughs> her, voice, uh, her face is getting more and more abstract. I feel by, by the next scene, it's just going to be full Picasso. <laughs> I think she meant an easy popular kids club, not an easy popular kids club. Oh my god, she's dedicated. <laughs> What's a popular name? <laughs> well, she turned into a zombie. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I was planning on watching a couple of these in a row, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's a little bit concerning. Oh, I might have to watch one per day. Maybe watch something in between this. <laughs> <laughs> fidget, fidget. Hehehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an advantage? 
Wouldn't the stronger thumb be the advantage? God, her face, though. Like, it's just... It looks like a popsicle. Oh, you fell for it! <laughs> oh! She's aiming for the Asobi Asobase! Hey, that's cheating! <laughs> maybe not a popsicle, maybe just like a, a spork. She looks like a spork. Just with a face on it. <laughs> I just remembered the slapping part in the beginning. <laughs> oh, she's a spork now, too. Uh... This is episode one, right? <laughs> we usually don't see this till, like, episode five. <laughs> hey, I think that's a game. I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> Uh, she looks good in the swimsuit, too. You know, I never thought, like, I was trying to think of what defines her, because, okay, apparently this one on the left doesn't like fun. The blonde one pretends to be American, and her, uh, like, apparently she's rich. Yeah, those aren't, mm. Don't worry, it's an advantage that you have. <laughs> yeah. It's quite unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Maybe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I want to see your mom. The the black haired one, not the the blonde one. <laughs> wow, that is an unpleasant image. <laughs>
Don't splash that in the classroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you just going to ignore it or open the door? Don't they have an advisor? Uh, was that a Conan reference that I haven't seen? No, d what? Uh, I'm a little shocked at what just happened. I didn't expect that. Uh. Mm. Yeah, that's very concerning, what just happened now. Okay, well... This is the first episode. This is something, alright. I'm gonna skip ahead a little to see if there's anything after the credits. I just saw puppets. I, uh, I really don't know what I'm getting into here. There's a little poop there, with arms and legs. Yeah. Oh my god, what even? What even? What even is this? Like, it's kind of like a combination between. Okay, it's pretty much over. It's, it's kind of like a combination between Minami K and Arakawa under the bridge. That's what it feels like to me. Besides the supernatural aspect of Arakawa under the bridge, just the ridiculousness of it. Like, This is incredibly random, but it manages to say some, like, completely entrenched in reality at the same time. As in, there's no fant fantastical stuff, there's nothing that actually couldn't happen. But at the same time, it's like one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. <laughs> this is gonna be something. <laughs> oh man, okay, well. Those are my thoughts on the first episode, and I really don't have much to add besides one last what even. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.